hosting a primetime weekday radio show on one of Cape Town's most favorite radio stations is no easy task, but after honing their skills at campus radio, Dan Corda and Sherdan Barnes has become the talk of the time with their brand new radio show, The Hype on Good FM. They join me today at Media 24's NASDAQ. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you for having us. Well, first of all, congratulations, The Hype. Um, you guys are probably so excited. We just did our sixth show this morning after a full week last weekend, starting on a public holiday and then the drama of having to really meet each other and spend time together on air for the first time and the second and the third. It was a bit sketchy at the beginning because it showed you know. But <laughs> I'm really happy now. I've had an amazing time and we had a good show this morning. Now take me back to, to the moment when you decided radio is the, the career you want to pursue. Shirley, I'll start with you. Um. I didn't expect radio. I didn't expect that I would love the media industry. I always thought that I would become a doctor, maybe cure AIDS, you know? <laughs> that didn't happen because science never loved me, mathematics never loved me, but I loved people, and that is how I got into radio. At um, MFM, actually, in Stellenbosch, I was studying there, uh, and I got introduced to, to radio. I met some amazing people who shared their love for radio with me, and I will forever be grateful. You also had your break in campus radio, DCT radio. What was that journey like for you? So it was actually quite bizarre because I was in my third year of university. I was on the solid direction to being a meaningless BA graduate student, <laughs> not knowing anything else about my life. And then I was walking across campus one day in UCT radio because I was kind of going a recruitment drive. And I didn't know it at the time that I was being recruited. I just thought I fell into an amazing conversation with a beautiful woman who then said that I had a great voice and said that I should come onto radio with her and all of these sorts of things. So I signed up pretty much purely with the motivation to see her again, uh, which, I, <laughs> which I did do three or four times. And then I went to the breakfast show and, and, and covered it. Uh, I kind of sat in on it and I fell in love with another woman who was on that breakfast show. Um, so the whirlwind well, well for me didn't end up with either of them. But I did end up with an incredible year at UCT Radio, out of which really out of the blue got up gave me a call because after a year, a year in radio and covering a, like various protests and things, doing many styles of radio, um, I didn't think that there was a radio station in Cape Town that wanted the product that I was offering and then they gave me a call and it was, there was really no decision. Immediately I just went, do I want to play great music and talk to people for a living? Yes. Cool. And you touched on that point on one thing I want to discover now a bit more. When it comes to sticking true to who you are and what you want as a brand, and sort of aligning that with, with commercial radio stations or TV brands, how do you guys do that? Staying true to Sherman Barnes is and to who Dan Corda is, and of course, having a massive platform like Good of it. I think I've been in the fortunate position to have worked for different media houses and it's houses that I truly respect. Like Ronaldo, you know, I actually got my start at Media 24. Yeah. I was part of the academy, they paid for my studies my final year when I was a journalism student at Stellenbosch. They also gave me my very first real job. Mm. I, I worked at Sari, so that was just amazing. And whilst working at Sari, I also started my internship, all of my internship. I started working as a newsreader at, at Good Up FM. So it's been really such an amazing journey. Mm. Uh, but how to stay true to yourself, I think you can only do that if you really know yourself. And that takes time and it's a journey and it's an amazing one. And for you? I would say that you need to figure out how to be as much yourself as possible in your job as you can. Because otherwise you'll lose yourself to an endless myriad of like successive acts. Mm -hmm. And you'll probably, you probably won't enjoy acting after a while. <laughs> acting all the time and then you'll kind of feel like you've lost yourself. And something that I've also just learned along the way as important as it is to be consistent, and yes, that is very important, it's also important to be flexible. So you want to be able to be employed by more than just one brand, you know? And I think some of the most successful brands in South Africa, they are the people who can go from, um, if I take Alma Smith, for instance, she can go from Lady Raga to Lady Gaga, you know? <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah, so flexible, flexible, flexible. Now, some would consider uh, the hype, the show you've got to go with them as, as your big break. Do you guys consider it that way? Yeah, yeah, in radio, definitely. Absolutely. I mean, it's an extraordinary time slot. We get to speak to people for three hours every day. Uh, we do miss the school rush, but that also means we don't have to be awake for the school rush, <laughs> which is fantastic. So, are you guys ready for people to recognize you in the streets stopping you? Screaming no. <laughs> We've so, got faces for radio, so, really? yeah. Well, I do. Um, <laughs> well, you're not going to deny that, fair enough. Um, <laughs> but that was it. Not, 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 not. Um, I, I am completely 
be okay uh, with people recognizing me in the same way that I get hot flushes when I think about seeing The Weeknd mm. uh, in person or seeing uh, whoever in person, Vampire Weekend. It's, there's a weekend trend in my music taste. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm completely okay with that so long as people aren't weird. Because there's some weird people. Um, I'm pretty weird, but like I'm not going to be weird about the celebrities who I meet. So keep it PG when it comes to that. No, yeah, please be no, weird. No, He's very weird. Give us great content. You can go as far as maybe 16 language and, and a couple of other categories, but nothing. Yeah. Like that. Before I say goodbye, to play a little game with you. 24 questions. I'm revamping it, seeing as you guys are two. I want to see how well you know each other oh. after the first three. <laughs> So I'll, I'll pose the questions to either or. Um, I'll start easy. Uh, who's the control freak between you two? Dad. Um, no. <laughs> who's the crazy one? Dad. So Dan is everything. <laughs> um, do you know each other's second man? No. Really? No. Does he have a second man? No. Two. <laughs> I have two <laughs> second names. I know that he's actually Daniel, mm. but I don't know what his middle name is on top. Okay, and, and what's Shillin's uh, best quality? Well, this is a political question. Um, she's got an incredible personality, just incredible spark and ability to befriend and make people feel comfortable and to be interesting. And Dan, Shillin? I think, and I actually told him this the very first day I met him, I think he's got an amazing brain. And also, I think he's got an amazing radio brain. So just the way his mind works, like I would come to him with an idea and think it's really good, mm. okay? And then he would just say, ooh, that is really good. But what if we did this, this, and this, and he would just take it to the next level. So mm. his radio brain, uh, and that's the truth, so yes. So it looks like all of this will be enjoying the, the next few months together. Yeah. Yes. I think so. Mm. Well, uh, best of luck with your journey on the hype, uh, we'll be keeping a close ear out and checking out what else is coming within the next few years. And Ronaldo, please listen to us every <laughs> day, 8 till 11 o'clock, shameless advertising. Yeah. There you have it, catch the hype and good up with them every weekday from 8 till 11am. Be sure to like us on Facebook and give us a follow on Twitter.